Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Serena. If you are new here, welcome. And if you're returning, hey girl, hey. So today I will be talking about um, products that I've used, let me say, beauty products that I've used in 2022 that were my ultimate faves. A few of them did come out in 2022 and I think a few of them are older, like maybe 2021. I tried to look up when each product came out and so many products came out this year. Like I tried to find a list I know it's almost impossible to find a list of just every single product that came out this year. It's not possible. So just kind of going off when I think dro things dropped. I don't know. So I'm just going to say things that I used in 2022 that I really do love. And this video will specifically only be beauty products because I do want to do skincare as well. Um, and that video would be like 50 hours long. So I'm going to like split it up between this is the beauty one and then I'm going to do skincare fragrance and body stuff as well. So let's go ahead and get into my favorite beauty products of 2022. So let's go ahead and start with our primers. So, mm, sorry, girl's been working. Okay, so starting with like primer or like base products so i honestly haven't found another primer better than milk hydro grip yet um still that girl will always be that girl i think this came out in 2020 or like 2019 still that girl i haven't found anything better so we're gonna skip that one still the best period now this product came out this year this is the elf the elf halo glow liquid filter it's a glow booster for radiant skin so this uh was meant to be a dupe for the charlotte tilbury hollywood flawless filter and i think there's also like the maybelline one it's another like under the skin glow kind of filter and elf just hands down does it very very well um i tried the charlotte tilbury one and the match was a little too red but because it was going underneath the foundation it would have been okay but this one as you can see in the video is to a t matches my skin perfectly if i wanted to get away with just as like a skin tint in the summertime like a little bit of concealer i could definitely get away with it so i say this is definitely my favorite like under the skin kind of glow booster of 2022 moving on to foundation this was tough i had to choose two for the foundations um because they're both different they serve different purposes but they both rose to the occasion so i'm gonna start first with the danessa myrick it is a um blurring balm powder and so like i think i've tried this before on here i've done like a short and this was recommended uh recommended to me by friend and when I tried it, I was like, oh, this is very different. Like it comes, I'll show you guys, uh, as a balm. And then once you rub it in, it gives you like a nice, like matte powdered look. And I don't do a lot of matte looks, but this is very quick for getting out the door. Comes with this little spatula right here, which is perfect to throw on. I even did it with my fingers the first time and you literally just rub it in. So if it's, if you're looking for something to like throw on your face, if you're like a five minute makeup girl, this is definitely for you. So I loved this Danessa Myrick blurring balm to powder uh, foundation and hmm is it too early to say this may be product of the year for me there are two that stand out but this I, I gotta give it house laps Lady Gaga and you girls out in I don't know LA where every other makeup headquarters is what are you doing what crack is in this bottle I'm wearing so the foundation now look literally that girl so this is the house labs triclone skin tech foundation and i believe there are like 40 maybe four more than 40 shades i know the uh shade range is like very very extensive um and yeah when i tried this on i was like this is amazing it's a medium coverage foundation but it is uh buildable and i'm not super like big on uh, full coverage foundations anymore i feel like my skin is good i just want something like a little oomph and this definitely did it like amazing and it honestly doesn't require i think i do like maybe two or three pumps and like spread it all over my face and i'm good to go so i take this may be this may be product of the year for me i'm i'm gonna put it may be a little too early but i'm gonna, I'm gonna nominate, this, nominate this product of the year um let's move to concealer concealer 
again in a tie I do like to use two concealers when I'm doing my under eyes um, I'll do like a darker it's still light <laughs> um, in my near my nose and then the corners of my eyes for a little lift and then I'll do a brighter one right under my eyes for like more of like you know a more awake look so I believe both of these came out this year and it's it's funny they're both two separate ends of the uh, price spectrum so first let's go with the Sephora best skin ever concealer um, it's it's amazing it's great it's creamy I used to use the elf concealer a lot but I will say ever since I came across this one this has been a fave of mine the only like con that I have about this for some reason it smells like alcohol to me and it's not like yeah it, it's like not even I don't know if it's like a tequila kind of smell but it's just very like alcoholic to me not like rubbing alcohol like liquor that's the only I don't know if anybody else has ever had this kind of encounter with this concealer but this one smells like liquor to me I do not know why but it is amazing it blends out it has great coverage uh, second up on the higher end of the spectrum the Dior um, backstage concealer I believe that's what it is um, yeah, Dior Backstage Flash Perfector Concealer. Amazing. So I was nervous because I ordered this online um, and it was a little bit lighter than I expected. But again, once I blended it out, um, it perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And these two together, amazing. One thing that I did not touch on so far is tools. So I think this is probably one of, I'll talk about another tool later, but this uh, Refi Double Ended Brush Miss Monet um, you know, TikTok girly. She put me on to this brush. I feel like everybody else. <laughs> she put everybody onto this brush. And I usually don't like to apply my foundations with a brush. Uh, but I will say using this brush and going on and like swirling it in, amazing. Amazing. And I use the other end um for like conceal not concealer for um what do I do? For blending in my contour. So I love this. I would definitely say probably tool of the year. I would give it to this Refi double ended foundation brush. Moving on to blush. So I would say I really liked this year, and I'm sure this has been around for a while, but again, my first time encountering it. This is the Glossier Cloud Paint um, in the shade, what shade is this? Haze. So it's actually a cloud paint, so you can use it for your cheek. Um, I think you can also use your eyes, like your lids. So Glossier, their products are like made to be very like, versatile is that the word I'm looking for yes versatile so I got haze I got a darker color just because you know it's fall time I wanted something a little bit darker and now it's winter actually but yeah so it's like a nice like little purple you see and <laughs> I also paired this with another blush which I think is also runner-up for product of the year it's the youth Foria color changing blush if you have not tried this yet this is amazing um, the owner I believe um, she's listen it's a one-woman show I believe um, and she lives in oh, I see her all the time on TikTok I want to say San Francisco um, and homegirl is doing the damn thing so it's a chemical reaction um, blush you put it on your cheeks as you can see in the video put it on your cheeks blend it in and the um, blush reacts to like your skin and gives you like the perfect blush so with those two this is the blush look that I got so yeah I think the euphoria in that house labs may be up for you know top two products of the year for me moving on to my contour I would definitely give this to thread beauty so this is a beauty brand that I actually stumbled across in Target um, all of their products I believe are like stick form so they have contour sticks um, eyeshadow sticks uh lipsticks um but yeah everything is like a pencil stick kind of form so this is great for contouring it's a complexion stick and so i just got um kind of one of the darker shades and this is deep neutral 220 i will say you have to be a little bit light-handed with this um a little bit does go a long way listen i be using my products look how broken this is <laughs> but yeah a little bit does go a long way and it's it is very very creamy blends in effortlessly love it so i would give that for contour um for bronzer you guys know that i've like been on my conquest of trying to find another bronzer um i recently bought the makeup by mario uh bronzer and i'm still kind of like working with it but i'm gonna still give it to fenty beauty mocha mommy 
she just never lets me down so like I'm almost done with it so I'm gonna just give it to, to her again maybe by next year we'll have another bronzer Moving on to setting powders so I believe I actually mentioned this last year it's the Charlotte Tilbury airless airless airbrush flawless finish so many names let's let's sound it out Charlotte Tilbury airbrush flawless finish complexion perfecting micro powder that's what it is and so it's a compact powder I'm gonna open it for you guys it's nice and compact um, gets the job done I really like it and going back to one of my um, other tools that I said I really liked or that I've discovered this year is these little like puff things I got these on Amazon I think it came like a pack of eight for like maybe ten dollars there's like pink and like black ones but yeah you just go ahead and put your two little fingers under here and tap it in works wonders and then second is the Hoda Beauty um, again another long name Hoda Beauty easy bake loose baking and setting powder and this is the shade Kanufa or Kanafa Kanufa I was honestly afraid I am so afraid of setting powder because I know you need a lighter shade to give you the nice bright under eye but I'm so afraid of flashback so um, when I was in Sephora the sweet sweet girl that was working there was like oh no girl she was black too she was like girl no uh, go ahead and get the light one she was like I use this on all of my clients she was like the um so I think the shade above it I can't remember what it was I think it was like a darker shade and it would have just matched my foundation like it would have it wouldn't have given me the bright under eye look I was going for so she was like no girl trust me you'll be fine put some setting spray on it you're good so I was like all right <laughs> I'm gonna trust you don't have me out here looking crazy sure enough I have it on right now I don't look crazy so those two I believe this one came out in 2021 but I know for sure I got this this year and my favorite setting powder this year um let's move on to eyes so favorite eye palette this year I have to give it to none other than Mr. Patrick Ta. This is the Major Dimensions 2 eyeshadow palette. It has plenty of pretty pinks and sparkles. Um, I still have not used on the side of the palette. There's the two like cream kind of like shadows. I don't know if it's like for a liner or what, but I just haven't used them um, because I have lash extensions. I don't want to get gel down there. I don't know what it's for. But anyways, this these pink shadows create such a very beautiful like pink base I remember I used this um, for my cousin's wedding um, because <laughs> I was like I'll do my own makeup it's it's fine um, but it creates such a pink like beautiful pink like soft rosy look that's what I have on now and my lids like just a perfect amount of sparkle like everything that Patrick Todd does he puts his heart and soul into it and you can definitely tell that the man knows what he's talking about because I have the first major dimension palette and I also have the blush palette as well which I think that came out last year and I featured it in my wrap-up video last year if not I would have put it in this video too but everything that Patrick Todd touches is amazing I love it two highlighters I haven't bought a highlighter in so long only because like there's only I don't know like the only highlighters I really go for are like a nice kind of like bronzy gold look uh, that will like melt into my dark skin <laughs> so yeah I'm buying highlighters like obviously that are just will complement my skin tone and so I like to blend it in enough that it just looks very natural like I don't want the huge streak of highlighter like we're back in 2016 and this one none other than miss ariana ponytail grande this is from rem beauty and the shade is miss mars it's the interstellar highlighter topper um and so it's a nice little gold i only put a little bit on my nose because again i wasn't going for a super highlighty look and that's the thing i feel like my makeup lately has been like dewy enough or very natural where like highlighter is like a super super glam look so if i do need a little bit of highlighter i have gone to miss ariana ponytail grande um last but not least almost yeah i think for lips I'm gonna have to give it to the Hourglass uh, Phantom Volumizing Lip Gloss Stick. So I actually discovered this a few months ago on TikTok. I feel like everything now we discover on TikTok. Um, and it's just a lip gloss and a stick. You take the top off, clearly. And I like to pair it with a brown liner. Um, and there's multiple shades, but I got the shade Laura. So it's a nice um, kind of like not violet but like a darker pink shade like just something for the winter time something a little a little dark 
um, and so you just literally click it up put it on and it comes on like gloss even though it's shaped like lipstick put it on like gloss and this is the result that you get I love it so much easy to carry around and it actually stays on pretty long for me um, I know I saw a few comments in uh, the Sephora website were like it didn't stay on that long I don't know what y'all are doing stayed on for me so um, I think last but not least I hmm I would say setting spray I don't have any with me because I ran out <laughs> I've used it so much but I would give it to the that's the thing they didn't come out this year hmm. probably give like setting spray of the year even though I don't have it with me right now is the Charlotte Tilbury um, airbrush like just setting spray just amazing your makeup does not move at all and the way that I do my my uh, setting spray I have to, like drench my face and then take a fan to really dry it down and like it does not move at all it's like a nice mist so it doesn't shoot out and you know you have like a water droplet and you look crazy but it stays forever so I think I'm gonna give setting spray of the year to Miss Charlotte Tilbury as well I forgot one since my brows are microbladed I don't use a lot of brow products but I only have been using the um, what is that benefit brow pencil literally just to touch up like the ends of my uh my eyebrows but i will say the nyx brow glue gel has been let me coming in handy so i have more hair in the front of my brows um so the ends of my brows i have like very very fine hairs so i don't necessarily need to use this but the hairs in the front are a lot longer and so i can lay them up and it doesn't give me the feathered look like you know you girls with real eyebrows but it like just lays them down in place because like you can see like it's just more shaded it's not like a natural like micro blade kind of look at the ends it's just shaded and then in the front I have more hair but this NYX brow glue really helps to lay it down okay so that's it that is my top beauty products of 2022 products that either came out this year or products that I discovered that I've used all year long and that I love I would recommend to you guys every single time that I talk about it um, again I think my top two I might have to go with the house labs and the youth euphoria color changing blush these are my favorite two products of the year I hope everyone has a an amazing new year have a safe holiday um and you know cheers to more videos in 2023 cheers you with my water and yeah if you have any of the products or if you've used them interested please comment down below and i will see you guys next year bye